Hello movie lovers. Let's dive into the enchanting tale of Ariel, the mermaid princess who captured our hearts. Yas, queen! She's the youngest daughter of King Triton, ruler of the majestic merpeople. But here's the twist. Ariel is fascinated by the human world, even though she's never seen it with her own eyes. Now, Ariel is not your average mermaid. You see, King Triton banned all merfolk from venturing to the surface after Ariel's mother tragically lost her life to a human. But Ariel's curiosity knows no bounds, and with the support of her loyal friends, Flounder the Sergeant Major, and Scuttle the witty Northern Gannet, she embarks on an incredible adventure. Now, our story starts when Ariel misses an important meeting called the Coral Moon Gathering, where she was supposed to join her sisters. Triton was not pleased. However, fate had something extraordinary in store for Ariel that night. As Ariel looks up to the sky, she spots dazzling fireworks illuminating the ocean. The spectacle originates from the magnificent ship of Prince Eric, a charming prince hailing from a nearby island kingdom. Eager to explore the unknown and lend a helping hand to his people, Eric shares his aspirations with his trusted advisor, Grimsby. Little did they know that this encounter would change both their lives forever. Suddenly, a fierce storm brews, causing Eric's ship to crash against treacherous rocks. Panic ensues as the crew scrambles for lifeboats, but Ariel, driven by her courageous heart, takes action. She rescues Eric and brings him to shore, where she uses her mesmerizing siren voice to save his life. <laughs> However, she flees before he regains full consciousness leaving him yearning to find the mysterious savior who saved him. As they say, every fairy tale has its complications. Queen Selina, Eric's mother, forbids him from setting sail again due to the dangers of the sea. Meanwhile, Ariel's sisters comment on her absent-minded behavior, unknowingly catching Triton's attention. The king questions Sebastian, Ariel's loyal friend, and discovers the truth about her heroic act of saving a human life. Triton, concerned for Ariel's safety, confronts her in her grotto. He demands that she swear never to venture to the surface again, but Ariel, determined to follow her heart, refuses to make such a promise. In a fit of anger, Triton destroys her treasured collection of human objects, hoping to dissuade her. However, his actions only push Ariel further toward a fateful encounter. Ursula, the cunning sea witch, and Triton's sister, approaches Ariel through a pair of eels possessing electrifying powers. Ursula presents Ariel with an enticing deal. She will transform the young mermaid into a human for three days. During this time, Ariel must receive a true love's kiss from Eric to remain human forever. But if she fails, she'll transform back into a mermaid and become Ursula's possession. The catch? Ariel must give up her tail, her ability to breathe underwater, and most heart-wrenching of all, her beautiful siren voice. <laughs> Driven by her desires, Ariel accepts the perilous offer. With Flounder and Sebastian by her side, she emerges onto the surface as a human. A fisherman comes to her aid, unknowingly becoming a part of her extraordinary journey. He takes her to the island kingdom and to Eric's magnificent castle. And let me tell you, when Eric learns of the arrival of the enchanting young woman who saved him, he rushes to meet her, his heart racing. Ariel's voice is gone, and Eric, captivated by her silence, turns away. However, destiny has a way of working its magic. 
As evening falls, Ariel explores the castle and stumbles upon Eric's captivating collection of mementos from his travels. It's in these shared moments that Eric and Ariel connect, as they bond over their mutual love for exploration and discovery. The following day, Eric takes Ariel on a tour of his kingdom. Unaware of the secret that threatens to shatter their chance at true love. Sebastian, ever the observant friend, realizes that Ursula has manipulated the spell causing Ariel to forget the crucial need for a kiss from Eric. Determined to bring them together, Sebastian, Scuttle, and Flounder take matters into their own hands. They come oh so close to success, but Ursula's eels intervene, thwarting their efforts. Enraged by the near miss, Ursula takes matters into her own hands, disguising herself as the beautiful Vanessa. Using Ariel's siren voice, she hypnotizes Eric, entangling him in her wicked web. The next morning, Ariel and her friends uncover Eric's impending engagement to the imposter, Vanessa. It's a race against time as they run to the engagement party. Ariel confronts Ursula, desperately trying to break the Nautilus shell that holds her voice captive. In a moment of triumph, Ariel's voice is restored shattering the enchantment on Eric. However, the setting sun marks the end of Ariel's fleeting transformation. As twilight falls, Ariel's form morphs back into that of a mermaid, while Vanessa reveals her true identity as Ursula, the treacherous sea witch. Ursula seizes Ariel, diving into the depths of the ocean, where they face Triton in a final confrontation. Bound by the unbreakable deal, Triton selflessly trades himself for Ariel, falling victim to Ursula's eels and turning to dust. Ursula claims Triton's mighty trident, believing she has triumphed. In a twist of fate, Eric arrives just in time to join the battle. Chaos ensues, and in the midst of the turmoil, Ursula accidentally kills her own eels. Enraged and vengeful, Ursula uses the trident to grow into a monstrous size, summoning a tempest to threaten Ariel and Eric. In a moment of sheer determination, Ariel finds herself aboard a surfaced ship, grasping the helm. With impeccable timing, she turns it, impaling Ursula with its splintered bowsprit. As Ursula's life ebbs away, Triton miraculously returns to the land of the living. The sacrifices made by father and daughter are finally recognized, and their bond is strengthened by their acts of selflessness. And let me tell you, it's a tear-jerker moment. With Ursula defeated and peace restored, Eric manages to return home. Queen Selina, recognizing the genuine love between her son and Ariel, acknowledges the truth and embraces their connection. Triton, ever the wise ruler and loving father, comes to a heartfelt realization. He understands that although he wished for Ariel to return home, her heart longs for more. Inspired by Sebastian's counsel, Triton decides to make a momentous change. He transforms Ariel into a human permanently, granting her deepest desire. Reunited, Ariel and Eric are ready to embark on a new chapter of their lives. With the blessings of both their parents and the unwavering support of their respective worlds, they set off on a journey together united in love and shared dreams. Their story reminds us that love knows no boundaries and that sometimes, the greatest adventures lie just beyond our wildest imaginations. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends. And tell us in the comments. Would you f a fish?